Yuri attends the rehabilitation center once a week. In the summer of 2016, the intelligence officer received a spinal cord injury while serving on the front line in eastern Ukraine. From that moment, he could only lay down. After rehabilitation, he was able to sit up. Those people who have seen me before and after that observe two big differences. I find a little strength. Friends support me. It is necessary to live on. Do not let your hands down, otherwise there will be no improvements. War veteran Oleg Kuzminik and his brother Sergei gained experience working to treat wounded soldiers while abroad since 2015. So super, so. Everything is great, everything is cool, but expensive. We decided that it will be better to do something in our country. We have gathered specialists and found the equipment necessary for this. All of these things give the result. About 70,000 US dollars were spent on the purchase of machinery and equipment. Another 35,000 US dollars were to rent, utilities, and salaries for staff. Over a year, more than 100 servicemen received assistance. I attended the center and did some exercises. As a result, my back does not hurt so much anymore. I also brought my military comrades there. The guys were also doing some exercises. The massage. I had massage therapy and different exercises. They do everything very well. There are six rehabilitation specialists in the center. Vadim has been working here since its opening. He says that he did not have much experience, but he really wanted to help soldiers. There, the guys are defending the border, and I'm here doing what I can do. When patients come to the center for 10 days, I should give them half of my soul while they're here. Also, the employees of the center conduct workshops for students who will be future rehabilitation specialists. Someone is donating money, someone is giving a smile, and another one is sharing experience. Theory is one thing and practice is another one. The rehabilitation center has plans to expand. For example, they plan on opening inpatient and diagnostic departments.